In principio besit Deus calum et terram. God made heaven and earth at first, and he himself hath no beginning nor ending. He made first the formless mass and the light of angels on the first Sunday. He made firmament on the Monday. He made earth and seas on the Tuesday. He made sun and moon and stars of heaven on the Wednesday. He made birds of the air and reptiles of the sea on the Thursday. He made beasts of the earth in general and Adam to rule over them on the Friday. Thereafter, God rested on the Saturday from the accomplishment of a new creation, but by no means from its governance. Thereafter, he gave the bale livery of heaven to Lucifer with the nine orders of the angels of heaven. He gave the belivery of earth to Adam and to Eve with her progeny. Thereafter, Lucifer sinned, so that he was the leader of a third of the host of angels. The king confined him with a third of the host of angels in his company in hell. And God said unto the foe of heaven, Haughty is this Lucifer, unite at confundamus, concilium eos. Thereafter, Lucifer had envy against Adam, for he was assured that this would be given him, Adam, the filling of heaven in his Lucifer's room. Wherefore he, I offer Niger, came in the form of the serpent and persuaded Adam and Eve to sin in the matter of eating the apple from the forbidden tree. Wherefore Adam was expelled from paradise into common earth. Thereafter the Lord came to them, and he said unto Adam, Terra es et in terram ibis. Of earth was he made, and into earth shall he go. In sudor ultis fui comiris panem tum. He shall not obtain satisfaction without labor. He said further unto the woman, Cum dolore et Gimitu teris filios, tuos et filias tuas. It shall be with insufferable pain that thou shalt bring forth thy sons. The progeny of Adam sinned thereafter, namely the elder of the sons of Adam came the accursed, who slew his brother Abel through his jealousy and through his greed. With the bone of a camel, as learned men say, in this manner began the kin murders of the world. As for Seth, one of the three sons of Adam who had progeny, of him are the men of the whole world. Noah, who begat Lamech, who begat Methuselah, who begat Enoch, who begat Iarid, who begat Malahel, who begat Canaan, who begat Enos, who begat Seth, who begat Adam. For it is no, who is the second Adam? to whom the men of all the world are traced. For the flood drowned the whole seed of Adam, except Noah, with his three sons, Sem, Ham, and Iapheth, and their four wives, Koba, Oya, Oliva, and Olivana. Adam 
Afterwards, when God brought a flood over the whole world, none of the people of the world escaped the flood, except it be the people of that ark. No, and his three sons, and the wife of No, the wives of his sons. A host that a wintry death would not subdue. No, there was no hero's weakness. A story with horror has been made clear with keenness. Sim, Ham, and Iathoth. Women without evil color, great excellences, above the flood, without extinctions. Koba, vigorous was the white swan. Ola, Oliva, Olivana. Ut dixit poeta. Now Sem settled in Asia, Ham in Africa, Iapheth in Europe. Sem settled in pleasant Asia. Ham, with his progeny in Africa, noble Iapheth and his sons, it is they who settled in Europe. Sem had 30 sons, including Arphaxid, Assur, and Perseus. Ham had 30 sons, including Chus and Chanan. Iapheth had 15 sons, including Denai, Gregus, Hispanius, and Gomer. Or it is 27 sons that Sim had. 30 sleek sons, a brilliant fact. They sprang from Ham, son of No. 27 are who are from Sem, and 15 from Iapheth. With regard to Iapheth, son of No, of him is the northern side of Asia, namely Asia Minor, Armenia, Media, the people of Scythia, and of him are the inhabitants of all Europe. Gracchus, son of Iapheth, of him is Grecia Magna, Grecia Parva, and Alexandrian Greece. Espanus, son of Iapheth, from whom are the Espani? Gomer, son of Iapheth, had two sons, Emoth and Ibath. Emoth, of him, is the northern people of the world. Ibath had two sons, Bobd and Bath. Bobd, who had a son, Dohi. Elinus, son of Dohi, had three sons, Ermin, Negua, Isaacon. As for Ermin, he had five sons, Gutus, Sibidus, Uligothus, Burgundus, Lombardus, Negua, who had three sons, Saxus, Boras, Uandalus, Isaacon, moreover, one of the three sons of Elenus. He had four sons, Romanus, Francus, Britus, and Albanus. This is what Albanus, who first took Albania with his children, and of him is Alba named. So he drove his brother across the Sea of Ict, and from him are the Albanians of Latium of Italy. Magog, son of Iathus, of his progeny are the peoples who came to Ireland before the Gadol. To wit, Partholan, son of Sarah, son of Shru, son of Esru, son of Bimbind, son of Magog, son of Iapheth, 
and Nimid, son of Agnomain, son of Pamp, son of Tat, son of Sarah, son of Shru, and the progeny of Nimid, the Galeon, Fear Domnan, Fear Bolg, and Tuata de Danan. As the poet said, Magog, son of Iaphis, there is certainty of his progeny. Of them was Partholon of Banba. Decorous was his achievement. Of them was noble Nimid, son of Agnomain. Unique of them were Gond and Ginond, Singond, free, slain. The numerous progeny of Elada, of them was Bress, no untruth, son of Elada, expert in arms, son of Delbeth, son of Net, son of Inda, son of Alda, Alda, who was son of Tot, son of Taburn, son Inda, and son of Baath, son of Pleasant Ibath, son of Bethach, son of Iardan, son of Nimid, grandson of Pamp, Pomp, son of Tat, son of Sarah, son of Shu, son of White Brayment. Of Brayment is the son of Ethach, who is the son of Magog, great in renown. There happened in their time a joint appearance against a plain. Bath, one of the two sons of Ibath, who was the son of Gomer, who was the son of Iaphas, of him are the Gadol and the people of Sithria. He had a son, the noble eminent man, whose name was First Farsaid. It is he who was one of the 72 chieftains who went for the building of Nimrod's tower, whence the languages were dispersed. Howbeit, Nimrod himself was son of Cush, who was son of Ham, who was son of No. This is that Phineas aforesaid, who brought the people's speech from the tower, and it is he who had the great school, learning the multiplicity of languages. Now Phineas had two sons, Nenuel, one of the two, who le whom he left in the princedom of Scythia behind him. Nell, the other son, at the tower was he born. Now he was a master of all the languages, wherefore one came to summon him from Pharaoh in order to learn the multiplicity of languages from him. But Phineas came out of Asia to Scythia, whence he had gone for the building of the tower, so that he died in the princedom of Scythia at the end of forty years, and passed on the chieftainship to his son, Nenuel. At the end of 42 years, after the building of the tower, Ninus, son of Belus, took the kingship of the world, for no other attempted to exercise authority over the peoples or to bring the multitude of nations under one hand and under tax and tribute, but he alone. Aforetime there had been chieftains. He 
who had, was noblest and most in favor in the community. He it was who was chief counselor for every man who should avert all injustice and further all justice. No attempt was made to invade or to dominate other nations. Now that is the time when Gedel Glass, from whom are the Gedel, was born, of Skoda, daughter of Pharaoh. From her are the Scots named, Ut Dictum Est. Phenae are named for, from Phineas, a meaning without secretiveness. Gedel, from comely Gedel Glass, Scots, from Skoda. It is Gedel Glass who fashioned the Gaelic language out of the 72 languages. There are their names, Bithynian, Scythian, etc. Under Poeta Kessin, the languages of the world, see for yourselves, Bithynia, Scythia, Cilicia, Hyriania, Gothia, Gracia, Germania, Galia, with horror, Pentapolis, Phrygia, Phrygia, Palmatia, Dardania, Pamphylia, Mauritania, Populus, La Lyconia, Bactria, Crete, Corsica, Cyprus, the Thessalia, Cyprus, Thessalia, Cappadocia, Noble Armenia, Raetia, Sicilia, Saras Saracen land, Sardinia, Belgia, Boethia, Britannia, Tunful Rhodos, Hispania, Roma, Regini, Venetia, India, Golden Arabia, Macedonia, Mazaka, Macedonia, Parthia, Caria, Syria, Saxones, Athene, Achaia, Albania, Hebrae, Arcadia, Clear Galatia, Troas, Thessalia, Cyclades, Moesia, Media, Parsidia, Persida, Franci, Cyrene, Lacedaemonia, Langobardi, Thracia, Numidia, Hellas. Hear it! Lofty Italia, Ethiopia, and Egypt. That is the tally of languages without tarnish of out of which Gedel cut Gedelic. Known to me is their role of understanding the groups, the many fold languages. Now Shru, who was the son of Esru, who was the son of Gedel. He it is who was chieftain for the Gedel, who went out of Egypt after Pharaoh was drowned, with his host in the Red Sea of Israel. Seven hundred and seventy years from the flood till then, four hundred and forty years from that time in which Pharaoh was drowned, and after Shu, son of Etru, came out of Egypt till the time when the sons of Mel came to Ireland, to wit, Eber, 
and Araman. We're on it, one said. Forty and four hundred of years, it is no falsehood from when the people of God came. Be ye certain over the surface of Maralupram, till they landed in seam from the clear sea, they the sons of Mill, in the land of Ireland. Four ships companies strong went true out of Egypt. There were twenty-four wedded couples and three hirelings for every ship. Shrew and his son, Eber Scott, they were the chieftains of the expedition. It is then that Nunuel, son of Bath, who was son of Nunuel, who was son of Phineas Farsad, prince of Scythia, who was dead, and then he died, and Shrew also died immediately after reaching Scythia. Eber Scott took by force the kingship of Scythia from the progeny of Nenumo, till he fell at the hands of Nomius, son of Nenuel. There was a contention between Nomius and Boamain, son of Eber Scott. Boamain took the kingship till he fell at the hands of Noemus. Noemus took the princedom till he fell at the hands of Ogamain, who was the son of Boamain, in vengeance for this father. Ogamain took the kingship until he died. Rephil, who was the son of Noemus, took the kingship till he fell at the hands of Tot, who was the son of Ogamain. Thereafter, Tot fell at the hands of Rephlor, who was the son of Rephil. Thereafter, there was a contention for the princedom between Reflor, grandson of Noemias, and Agnomain, who was the son of Tot, until Reflor fell at the hands of Agnomain. For that reason was the seed of Gadel driven forth upon the sea, to wit Agnomain and Lamphend, his son so that they were seven years on the sea, skirting the world on the north side. More than can be reckoned are the hardships which they suffered. The reason why the name Lamphend was given to the son of Agnomain was because not greater was the radiance of candles than his hands at the towing they had three ships with a coupling between them that none of them should move away from the rest. They had three chieftains after the death of Agnomain on the surface of the great Caspian Sea. Lamphend and Alot and Catcher the Druid. It is Catcher the Druid who gave the remedy to them when the siren was making melody to them, sleep was overcoming them at the music. This is the remedy which Kaichur found for them to melt wax in their ears. It is Kaichur who spoke to them when the great wind drove them into the ocean so that they suffered much with hunger and thirst there, till at the end of a week, they reached the great promontory, which is northward from the Rypaean mountain, and in that promontory they found a spring with the taste of wine, and they feasted there, and it were three days and three nights sleep there. 
But Cater the Druid said, Rise, said he, we shall not rest until we reach Ireland. What place is that Ireland, said Lamfind, who was the son of Agnomain? Further than Scythia, is it, said Cater. It is not ourselves who reach it, or who shall reach it, but our children. At the end of three hundred years from today. Thereafter, they settled in the Makotic marshes, and there a son was born to Lamfend, Eber Glunfend, white marks which were on his knees. He, it is said, who was chieftain after his father. His grandson was Fabri. Glunfind, his grandson, was Nuadu. Praith, who was the son of Gath, who was the son of Ersha, who was the son of Alat, who was the son of Nuadu, who was the son of Nenuel, who was the son of Febri Glass, who was the son of Agnifend, who was the son of Eber Glunfind, who was the son of Lamfind? Who was the son of Agnomain? Who was the son of Tot? Who was the son of Agnomain? Who was also the son of Baumain? Who was the son of Eber? Who was the son of Scott? Who was the son of Shrew? Who was the son of Eshru? Who was the son of Gedoglas? Who was the son of Nell? Who was the son of Phineas Farsaid? It is that Brath, who came out of the marshes along the Torian Sea, to Crete, and to Sicily. They reached Spain thereafter. They took Spain by force. As for Agnomain, who was the son of Tot, he is the leader of the Gadol, who came out of Scythia. He had two sons, Lamfend and Alot. Lamfend had one son. Eber Glunfind. A lot had a son, Eber Dub. At the same time as the sojourn in the marshes, they had two grandsons in joint rule. Toitecht, who was the son of Petrch, who was the son of Eber Dub, and Ninuel, who was the son of Febri, who was the son of Agni who is the son of Eber Glunfend. There was also Swathach, who is the son of Mantan, who is the son of Kacher, the druid. Uche and Oche, two sons of Alot, who were the son of Nunuel, who were the son of Nemia, Nemed, who were the son of Alot, who was the son of Ogame, who was the son of Twaithacht, who was the son of Petrach? Who was the son of Eberdub? Who was the son of Alot? Four ships' companies strong came the Gadol to Spain. In every ship, fourteen wedded couples and seven unwed hirelings. Brath, a ship's company. Uche and Oche, two ships' companies. Two brethren were they. The sons of Alot, who was the son of Ninuel, who was the son of Nemed, who was the son of Alot, who was the son of Ogamain. Mantan, who was the son of Kesher, the Druid, who was the son of Ercha, who was the son of Kumtech, a ship's company. So they broke three battles after going into Spain. A battle against the Tuscans, a battle against the Longobardi, and a battle against the Barku. But there came a plague upon them, and four and twenty of their number died, including Ochi and Uchi. Out of the two ships, none escaped, save twice five men, including In, who is the son of Oche and Un, who is the son of Uche. Brath, 
who had a good son named Brogan. Brogan, by whom was built the tower, and the city Braganza was the city's name. From Bregon's tower it was that Ireland was seen, an evening of a day of winter, if who was the son of Bregan saw it. Unde gila comen, kiss in it.